Hello children, you are welcome in the English class. Today we are going to read a very soft and a little poem, The Wood of Flowers. Now, we'll understand the poem under these titles. First of all, we'll do the meaning of the title. The next, the word meanings. Recitation of the poem. Then, understanding the poem. And finally, we'll do the exercises of the poem. Now children, first of all, we'll do the meaning of the title. The wood of flowers. Children, all of you know that wood means lakri. The things, many things are made of wood. The furniture is made of wood. The trees give us wood. The chair, the table, they are made of wood. But yes, there is one more wood and that is the small forest. Here in this poem, I'll tell you the wood of flowers. That means a small forest filled with flowers. We'll do the words and the meanings of the poem. Alone. It means a kela. Alone. The child sat alone in the room. Gaiti. A very good word. Gaiti means anand, pleasure, extreme happiness. The child celebrated his birthday with gaiety. Grass. Yes, all of you know the meaning of grass. That is ghas. The green grass, the beautiful grass. Ground. Bhumi. The carpet was laid on the ground. Kaleen ko zameen par bicha diya gaya. For hours means ghanto tak. The mother waited for the child for hours. Ghanto tak bachche ka intazar karti rahi. Sound. Sound means awaz. Wind. Hava. The soft wind was blowing. Happy. A very good word. Khush. The children are normally very, very happy. Now children, we'll recite the poem. In the wood of flowers, I was there alone for hours. I was as happy as I could be in the wood of flowers. There was grass on the ground. There were birds on the tree. And the wind had a sound of such gaiety that I was as happy as could be. The rhyming words. The flowers, it rhymes with ours. And in the fourth line again, the flowers. They have the same sound. In the second stanza, the tree. Yes, tree, KT and B. The poem is very soft, little melodious. See what the child is doing all alone in a small forest. In the wood of flowers, in a beautiful forest of flowers, the child was standing all alone. He was enjoying the beauty of the small forest. He was extremely cheerful and delighted in the beautiful forest which was filled with different colored flowers. The flowers the birds and the trees. The child was all alone and enjoying the beauty of the forest. Yes, the grass was very beautiful, the green grass on the ground 
and the birds, they were singing on the branch of the trees. The child alone standing and enjoying the beauty of the singing birds and the soft wind was blowing. The child was extremely surprised to see this beauty and he was fully enjoying the natural beauty and he was filled with delight to see the beauty of the twittering birds, the green grass and the beautiful flowers which were blooming in the forest. These flowers were of different colors. The child was standing all alone but he was not feeling lonely because he was in the company of nature. So children, you have seen that if you love nature, nature also loves you. Let us promise to preserve the wildlife. Agar hum van sampada ki raksha karenge, to hamara atmosphere, hamara vatavaran bahas shudh rahega because the trees give us fresh air. Now children, let us do some interesting exercises. Fill in the same sound words in the right places from the box below. See, here is a box and there are certain words which are written in the box. There is a small box below and you have to choose the same sound words according to these words which are given in the big box. So, let us start and see. Night. The first word is night. Now, what is the correct word? Which are the correct words? Yes, light. Yes, the night rhymes with light. Light. Now, the next one. You know sound flowers, good, good shahs, round who, bright, yes, bright. Bright is the correct word. Bright, zoo, height, yes, height. Now, the first one is complete. Now, let's see the second word, two. You. Next is good, good, shahs, no. Who. You has the same sound as who. Zoo. Yes. The third one is ground. Sound. Sound, round. Bound. These are the correct words. They have the same sound. Now the next word is ours. Let's see the words. Uh, flowers, yes. Flowers, this word has the same sound. Uh, shars. And then some other word, yes, stars. Now the next word is wood. Wood takes the sound of good. Good, then good. Though the spelling is different, but the sound is the same. Should. Now, the box is complete. Now, we come to the next exercise. Here are the words and here is a box. You have to fill the blank space, picking up the right opposite from this box. Now, let's see. The first word is brave. Yes, what will be the opposite of this word brave? Give. 
weak, coward? Yes, coward is the right answer. Then the next word is with, without. Take. All of you know this word? Uh, yes, it is give. You must have heard the expression give and take. It's strong. The correct answer is weak. The last word stand. Sit. Stand and sit. Now we come to the third exercise. Choose the correct answers for the given boxes. Here is a word and there are options. Which is the correct answer you have to choose? Same here also. The child. Now we see the child. The first option is had no friends. The second is enjoyed the wood. The third is disliked flowers. What will be the correct answer? All of you have understood and read the poem. You must be knowing. Yes, the correct answer is the child enjoyed the wood. Enjoyed the wood. Now, the next one is the child was happy because he was alone in the wood, he could catch birds, he could climb trees. I hope all of you know the answer. Yes, the correct answer is the child was happy because he was alone in the wood. He did not want any company. He wanted to be alone and therefore he was very, very happy. And you have done the exercises. I hope you have understood you have learned the poem very well and when you sing with your friend, you'll really enjoy.